What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Hype Talk. And like always, we got Big Boy Johnny. What it do? We got Tang Tang, aka Pretty Rico. What up, y'all? We got Sky Pilot the Dog. And today we are gonna be going over five sneakers that did not live up to Ooh. their hype. Alright, you ready to talk about these? Let's, Let's go. go. Alright, so first sneaker on the list that did not live up to its hype oh, yeah. was hyped up by its predecessors, the Curry One. Big word. And the Curry 2. Okay. So we got the Curry 3s. Bam! Do you guys look. remember these? Let me know. Let me know. Look, man, curries in general to me, okay? Just like they smell. They stink. Oh, <laughs> he's talking about food. He's talking about <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me let me give these a little bit of background information. The Curry 1s uh, and the 2s were very successful. Okay. When the Curry 3s dropped, Under Armour's market value within sneakers dropped $600 million. Wow. They That's dropped crazy. That's crazy. A lot of money. A lot of money, and these were not flying off the shelves. Within a month, uh, the Foot Locker CEO was talking about how bad they were selling. Mm -hmm. They dropped from uh, 140 all the way down to 99. 99. Wow. So they were just not selling. And a lot of people were talking about Curry was hurt that year, his ankles and everything. And then when he would wear them, he had those huge ankle straps and it was just not hurt. It, it, was scared, it was scared the customers away. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, shout out to Under Armour, huge fan, huge fan. Um, <laughs> They didn't send me the ones and twos. They only sent me the threes. And I now know why, you know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, they need that push. They needed that push <laughs> as know. far as promoting goes. No wonder the fours look totally different than these. Oh yeah, the fours were crazy. So yeah. that season when the threes dropped, he actually switched over to these during the whole season okay. uh -huh. to hype up the fours. People really just did not care about the threes, man. That's they kind of just took a loss with that. They took a huge L with the threes, but obviously Under Armour definitely learned their lesson. Their CEO has a quote right here saying he really needed to make the right adjustments for the Curry 4, and I think they, they killed it. Yeah, because in my opinion, I feel like when it comes to Under Armour uh -huh. and when it comes to Stephen Curry, they need the shoe to be not only performance wise, but look really, really cool. Look wise, yeah. Look wise That's has a bread to be and butter, on point. Because right? a lot of kids are purchasing the Curries. They don't care about performance. They care about the looks. They care about the looks, man. Yeah. And these threes were not the ones, man. Nah, these were these were hideous, man. Yeah, 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 I can see why. All right, so the first sneaker that did not live up to its hype on our list are the Curry threes. Man, Let's keep it moving. Million. All right, so next sneaker that did not live up to its hype, we got the Adidas Future Crest for three hundred dollars. Oh man, you guys remember these, obviously. So so much hype. On it these was ones. not. It was not even that long ago. No. Just rewind it to when I said these are going to be a flop. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> these look like just a generic version uh, of the Ultra Boost ones. Uh, man. Uh, I'm he, gonna he, call he, it how I see he it. He wants man. Shelter. I you did. Hey, you did. You did. So obviously everybody thought Adidas was going to kill it with this future crap. Yeah, I thought so too. Technology. I mean, you know, what do you think the reason is? I don't know what the reason is. I really thought the the 1.0 upper with the new unique looking midsole with the 4D. I thought so too. I thought it was going to be dope. Maybe it was too exclusive uh -huh. to where people were like, I don't even want to deal with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the with the Ultra Boost not really being hyped, maybe these weren't as hyped. No I matter how much but, Like, these were fetching in the thousands, yeah. but no one wanted them. I don't even know how people that have them to sell even got them. Exactly. No one even talks about these. You know what I mean? I, Usually I, when yeah. it's that rare, people yeah. are like, yo, how can I get my hands exactly. out of here? No one cared about the future crash, After man. we really dropped the video of Copper Drop on these, I did not hear anything about them. No. Mm -hmm. I almost yeah. felt like this got caught in the fire of too many Yeezys dropping, everyone yeah. kind of had a negative oh, thought about Adidas Yeezy. in general. Yeah, yeah. It they was... were like, I'm not, I'm off, I'm off of I'm, anything three saying. stripes, and then everyone hopped on the Nike train. Yeah, this were like, they, caught, needed, caught they needed to drop these like super quickly, and yep. they did not do so. I would say it's a good looking sneaker though. It is. Like, it is clean. Sorry. Again, it has wow. the one side. All right, all right. I'm Again, gonna stick to man. it. These definitely did not live up to the hype, you know, 300 bucks, little steep for everybody, and the resale price is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so next sneaker up, we got the Jordan 3 Black Cements. Wow. Before these released in 2018, yep. we hadn't seen them since 2011. A lot of people were really hyped about these. Nike Air on the back, tumbled leather, the shape is right. I know for us in Copper Drop, you guys were saying 14 pairs minimum. Yeah, yeah, and now, do you even own a pair? I'm baffled. I'm do you I don't. care about them? I don't. And you No one cares about these, man. I, I, I think it's just what the market is now, man. There's so many new shoes out there. There's so many new technology out there. I see what you're saying. There. That's a good point. Well, it's just kind of like, why do we constantly really got to keep getting these Jordans that we know they're going to constantly redrop yeah, for us when there's some new stuff that we really got to catch on okay. right now. So you're saying it's a matter of like, okay, we could pass on these because some they're going to come out, come yeah, out okay, again. Got it. I, I, I almost yeah. feel like people still had that 2011 pair. Yeah. You know, people still had that <laughs> pair, it. and they probably had a bunch of those pairs 
you know, stock. thinking that they could stock it, thinking it, this wasn't gonna release. Yeah. yeah. So in my opinion, I just think Jordan Brand just maybe needs to spread it out a little, you know, maybe more. Okay. Or maybe even limit the OG colorways. Got it, got it. I think these came out in that point where a lot of retros were dropping yep. and there was just no excitement about them. Guaranteed. If they would have hit these with the uh, exclusivity like the 88s, mm -hmm. I guarantee they wouldn't have been I can popular. see that. You know what, see... man? At the end of the day, you guys, what we like is things that have high resale. <laughs> it sounds stupid, right? But one of the reasons why these are flopping Yo, and it's not hot. Are you speaking truth in this uh, video, man. What's the resale value right now? It is uh, 250, 300. 250, 300, yeah. which is crazy. It's not if, even that if, bad. If that, 300. If that, yeah, we're, if we're that. talking in the twos if right now. Like, there that's, it is, man. I'm ashamed, y'all. <laughs> you're ashamed. I'm ashamed. You were the some biggest Yeezys. advocate for I'm this. I'm just ashamed that I got some Yeezys recently. <laughs> Yo. And I didn't get Yo, these, man. I'm ashamed. You guys, like, this you're is, ashamed? I am a little ashamed of myself. I'm just thinking about it. You turned your back on the Blacksmith threes. He did. He sure did. Sometimes a shoe that sells out doesn't mean it's hot. True, very true. And this is a prime example wow. of a shoe that's that is hot, that's sold out, yeah. but resale wise in the resale market, wow. it yeah. ain't hot. I think a lot of people just have them sitting right now. You have them sitting, man. All right, so next sneaker up, man. This sneaker right here, I think was huge because we really thought it could change basically the climate of sneakers a few months ago, you Which know what I mean? The Dunk SB Tiffany's that dropped that complex con. These had, with wow. this. These had the potential to really bring back SBs, in my opinion. Even yes. at complex con. At complex con. Because people were knuckling up. They yep. were. They and were and now, now you see them basically Everybody. retail. Yes. Basically retail, man. Again, I feel like this falls into the Black Cement 3 category. Okay. It still caused riots. It still caused huge lines but the resale wasn't there. And it's wild to me because if there's one person that I would have thought that did a uh, uh, SB collab, it would be Nicky Diamond, Nikki, man. The right I, way, you're saying I, the right Yes, Nikki. I would think that he'd be the one to really bring it back. And it's Nikki unfortunate himself. that yeah. did It man. almost felt like the SBs were back at Complex Con, yes. like you were saying, knuckling up. They had to shut down the boost and yep. everything. Multiple times. Yeah. Have you heard much about these afterwards? No, no. I barely I hear mean, anything about the Canary Yellows, and yeah. those have a huge resale, and I still don't really hear about it. Yeah. So, it's, I don't know, something about colorway, execution. Execution was not... Maybe it's too simple. It right. A lot of people were pretty let down when they saw these two colorways. Okay, okay, yeah. let me ask you guys this. I, I, the white pair is clean, though. White pair is clean. Let me ask you guys this, though. There has never been a retro SB. What if they retroed the low Tiffany's just retro it. You guys tell me that they retro the, the highs. The low, I'll talk the low originals. Original. We know original. how bad the highs do. They were bad. We know we do. We know okay. how bad the uh, the other version retro does. What about the uh, supreme most? red lows? Those were hot. But those weren't actual. Those, those were ones. hot, but weren't as hot. I definitely see on both sides, man. But I think with Nicky Diamonds, he was probably like, like, I can't just do that. I'm too creative. Which is to why come he probably came with the, the other original. ones. Yeah, the Canary Yellow is kind of like, I was like, that's really they, cool. They before, killed... before I even knew they were exclusive, I thought that they were cool. Hey, again. you throw in a Tiffany original Dunk Low with the resale value where it's at already, mm -hmm. it's bound to meet in the middle. But Actually, I feel like Tiffany was just middle. crazy. The color Tiffany was just crazy back then, and I don't think it's as wild about now. Hey, resale value is more so still about up the there color. Though. Resale value is so still crazy. Up there. Tiffany, I could be wrong. Tiffany loves me. Nike, if you hear us, just retro the originals, please. Come on. Just retro the originals, or you'll uh, end up on this list. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. So the number one hype sneaker that did not live up to its hype. What okay. shoe, man? You, you, shoe? you yelling. The ZO2s. <laughs> oh, the BBBs, ZO2s. We hyped these up, man. AKA the frauds. We, AKA the we just gonna take your money. 495 bucks. We were, we were on the train. Pre-orders were crazy. We these these were even like talked about on ESPN, CNN. Trippy. Lons of false signature shoes. Yeah, it better come with $400 in cash in the box. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear it. Anything sure about them nowadays. Been. When it I comes to these are fake Kobe's. Yeah. <laughs> the fake Kobe's. When it comes to big baller brand, you think big money. You know, you think big money and no one I does. <laughs> <laughs> think of big bumps. Oh, Jay, like that? You really Dang, you, all, you was on it. Like that? You I'm was joking. on it. I'm team baller brand. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Ever since Denise wanna go ahead and bounce, you wanna go and bounce with her. Oh, I'll bounce with her. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to the shoe, sure, she was talking about the brand itself. It, it's a lot to talk about. It's you a lot. To, the shoe itself. Look, man, they got their money and they left. That's that's what I feel like. You feel like that? They got his money. Lamar got, got, got his mansion. His son is his son is in L.A. They didn't uh, really the set it up for longevity, kind of. No, it's kind of like let's just do what we can do and make a the quick most come of up. It. it was a quick come up. It was a quick come up. Overall, the zo 2s you don't hear about them anymore, and I'm not even sure if like I don't even know who. You has know what's them. you know what's crazy, man? I think when we asked about these, I said it was a Ponzi scheme. And it's a Ponzi it scheme, is, it man. It was, it was. People got in and got out. They were hyped, though. You, you can't deny that they were hyped, though. They were hyped. They, they were, were hyped. talked about 
I don't know about hype though, you know? <laughs> Talked about his hype though. Talked about for the wrong reasons. <laughs> hype is for the right reasons, I feel I like. I see what you're saying. LeVar is smarter than we think though. Yeah, yeah, he, he got is. his. All right, so there we have it for the ZO2s. All right guys, thank you for checking out that top five sneakers that did not live up to their hype. Me, Let man. us know down in the comments below what other sneakers that you think should have deserved a spot on the list. Do you guys disagree or agree with that list? And that's pretty much it. Shout out, what do we look so disappointed? I'm really disappointed in myself. I'm think I really think that I got a pair of 700s. Oh, with I some black even, cement threes, my with brother. With Nike check, with Nike yeah, check. It's like back, you, you 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 ditched the good girl for the hot the new girl. The, the, the 80 for 20. You know yeah, you oh, ditched man. the good girl that held you down for the I'm new gonna, girl. I'm gonna give you a pair now, man. Just all right, go get the old girl. Go get the old girl. And while it's on the low. Yep, you're right. And that's right now. All, all right, right. I like all it. right, guys. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for checking out that video. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video. Also, check out this video. And until next time, we out. Peace.